Have you ever heard of the I do redo? Is someone getting married for the second time? Is this the couple's second marriage? Is this a third marriage? This has caused quite a stir in the wedding industry. There have been many couples who have chosen to elope and marry. Alternatively, they can just go to the courthouse and have a justice of the peace marry them, but they still want to have that special day. Maria Romano will discuss what happens in this I do redo phrase in today's True Love Knots show. Hey everybody, Maria Romano here at True Love Knots. Hope you've been having a great week. Today, I want to bring a topic that I've been hearing quite a bit. It's been all the buzz in the wedding industry. The I do redo. Have you heard about that? The I do redo. Now, you might be thinking, is it somebody getting married again? Is it a second marriage, a third marriage? No, 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 no. In light of COVID and everything that has occurred, there have been a lot of couples that have elected to just elope and get married, or they just go to the courthouse and they have a justice of the peace, marry them. But they want to still have that special day. I mean, it's something that some brides and grooms that they just envision and dream about for their whole lives. So they want to redo, that's right, actually redo their wedding ceremony. And this is quite common. I've seen quite a bit of this in Las Vegas, and it's happening not just here. It's happening in many, many parts of the world where couples are deciding, okay, we got married, but now we want to have this big celebration. And what's great about this is now that we're getting back into being more social again. I mean, who would have thought we would have gone through this? And couples are really trying to reach out and reconnect with their family and friends and making everybody a part of their special day. So you're seeing a lot more of this. But also to bear in mind that if you're going through the I do redo, which is great, uh, you still might have some family members that can't attend. So you know what I'm going to give you a great recommendation is depending upon the venue, maybe you can actually rent a large screen TV and you can load Zoom up and you can have those family members be part of your special day. They can interact. They can be there for the first dance. They can watch it. They can watch it from the comfort of their home. They can also send a toast to the bride and groom, as well as watching the cutting of the cake and the presentation of the couple coming in. So even though you might be going through an I do redo, and you might still be a little anxious about having all your family members, they might not be able to travel or friends, take my advice and just rent a big screen TV with some internet and have them still join you because you know these virtual platforms are not going to go away. If anything, some of these virtual platforms have brought us all a lot closer. So in the meantime, if you're getting married and I want to congratulate you, remember Las Vegas is a great place, a great place to come and elope, a great place for the I do redo. In the meantime, remember that I also teach officiants on how to do what I do. So if you want to add a new stream of income, right? And you want to you want to increase your bank account. You want to be excited about what you're doing and imagine impacting people on the one of the happiest days of their life. This might be a great career path for you. So check out my website. In the meantime, continue to stay healthy, happy and safe and always spread love. Thank <laughs> you.